15 Strange Traditions of Individual Scottish Clans 1. Clan MacGregor, the MacGregors have a tradition of leaping over the blades of swords to prove their bravery and loyalty to the clan. This custom is thought to have originated in the 17th century, when members of the clan were required to demonstrate their courage and commitment to the clan. The blades were typically arranged in a circular pattern, and the participant was required to jump over them without touching them. 2. Clan MacLeod The MacLeod clan has a tradition of fighting with broadswords, with the winner of a duel being declared the new clan chief. This custom was practiced in the early days of the clan, when disputes over leadership were settled through combat. The broadsword was considered a symbol of the chief's power and authority, and the winner of the duel was recognized as the rightful leader of the clan. The MacLeods also have a tradition of burying their swords as a symbol of peace. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of signaling the end of a feud or conflict, and of demonstrating a commitment to peace. The swords were considered powerful symbols of the MacLeods' strength and warrior heritage, and burying them was seen as a way of putting these ideals aside in favor of a more peaceful way of life. 3. Clan Campbell The Campbells have a tradition of playing pranks on members of other clans, with one notable example being a prank involving stealing cattle under the cover of darkness. This custom reflects the mischievous and playful nature of the Campbells, and was likely used to demonstrate their cunning and resourcefulness. The stolen cattle were usually returned after a brief period, and the pranks were seen as a form of friendly competition between the clans. 4. Clan Macpherson The Macphersons have a tradition of playing bagpipes to scare away evil spirits. This custom is thought to have originated in the days when the Macphersons lived in remote areas and believed that the sounds of the bagpipes could protect them from supernatural dangers. The Macphersons were also known to play the bagpipes as a way of signaling to other members of the clan during times of danger or difficulty. 5. Clan Stuart, the Stuarts have a tradition of holding mock battles between their own clansmen to practice for real battles against their enemies. This custom was used to prepare the Stuarts for the realities of combat, and to help develop the skills and teamwork needed to succeed in battle. The mock battles were often staged in a safe and controlled environment, and participants wore protective gear to minimize the risk of injury. 6. Clan Buchanan the Buchanans have a tradition of honoring their fallen warriors by wearing a lock of their hair tied to their belt. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of remembering and honoring those who had died in battle. The lock of hair was considered a symbol of the warrior's courage and devotion, and was worn by members of the clan as a mark of respect for the fallen. 7. Clan McIntyre the McIntyre clan has a tradition of playing a type of ancient harp called a classic at special gatherings and celebrations. This custom is thought to have originated in the days when the McIntyres were known as skilled musicians and storytellers. The classic was used to accompany traditional songs and stories, and was considered an important part of the McIntyre cultural heritage. 8. Clan McLaren the McLarens have a tradition of dressing in green to honor the memory of their fallen warriors. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of remembering those who had died in battle, and as a way of honoring their bravery and sacrifice. 9. Clan Fraser The Frasers have a tradition of carrying a small piece of tartan cloth with them at all times, as a symbol of their loyalty to the clan. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of identifying members of the clan when they were traveling or living in unfamiliar territory. 10. Clan Macaulay The Macaulays have a tradition of keeping their clan chief's genealogy in the form of an intricate braid of hair. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of preserving the clan's history and heritage, and as a way of honoring the chief and his ancestors. The braid was considered a sacred object, and was passed down from generation to generation. 11. Clan McCall, the McCalls have a tradition of wearing a special type of kilt that is made entirely of animal fur. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of keeping warm in the harsh Scottish climate, 
and as a way of demonstrating the Makol's ruggedness and toughness. The fur kilt was considered a symbol of the Makol's independence and strength, and was often worn during times of war or conflict. 12. Clan McInnes The McInnes clan has a tradition of playing a type of war pipe called the Piedvor during battles. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of inspiring the McInnes warriors and of striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. The Piedvor was considered a powerful weapon in the McInnes arsenal, and was used to signal the start of a battle. 13. Clan McPhee The McPhee clan has a tradition of wearing a type of shawl called a plaid during important ceremonies and celebrations. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of symbolizing the McPhee's heritage and identity, and as a way of honoring their ancestors. The plaid was considered a powerful symbol of the McPhee's heritage, and was often passed down from mother to daughter. 14. Clan McNeil The McNeils have a tradition of drinking from a special type of drinking horn called the quake during important ceremonies and celebrations. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of symbolizing the McNeils' unity and camaraderie, and as a way of toasting to their successes and accomplishments. The quake was considered a powerful symbol of the McNeils' heritage, and was passed down from generation to generation. 15. Clan Mackenzie The Mackenzies have a tradition of burying their dead facing the east, as a symbol of the rising sun. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of recognizing the cycle of life and death, and of honoring the dead as they begin their journey to the next world. The east-facing burial was considered a way of symbolizing the beginning of a new day, and of acknowledging the dead's passage to the afterlife. They also have a tradition of marking their dead by carving a cross into a nearby tree. This custom is thought to have originated as a way of honoring and remembering those who had died, and as a way of marking their final resting place. The cross was usually carved into a tree near the burial site, and was seen as a symbol of the deceased's connection to the land and to the Mackenzie clan.